with another video and I am joined once again by Sophie. Hi! As I stated in the last video, I'm focusing on a lot of Halloween -y stuff this month. I figured for this video I'd let Sophie, you know, dress my face up a little bit, do a little bit of face painting. As you can see, we've already been testing out like this pair of spray stuff. One second. We got this stuff, it's like temporary hair colour spray thing. Come yeah, it's it's all over my clothes and everything. It's making me glitter. <laughs> We've already tested it out just to make sure it was safe to use. We say test it out to say that it's safe to use, but to test it out, she used a full can. So I'm gonna do purple. But, I think this time. Yeah, instead of the green. We weren't sure what else to do over this, but we figured we could do a little get to know Sophie. You guys like you know a lot about me, so I figured. The person who's on my channel, like, a lot, like, a lot, a lot. And I'm your bestie. And my bestie. Uh, you should get to know a little bit about Sophie. So while she's doing this, she's going to be telling you little things about her. Yeah, definitely. Like, I'll try and make them interesting. It's not like how many times to go to the toilet or anything like that. <laughs> Since Sophie's going to be painting my face, I guess this has to go. And we are back. And I look like a 12-year-old once again. Well, you don't look like a 12-year-old, you just look like a 12-year-old wearing a beard. I think Sophie's decided what she wants to do with my face. Oh, I want a fucking old. Wait, 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 are we allowed to make you into a clown? No. Why? I don't like clowns. And, I have to, and don't say you don't have to look at yourself. I have to look at myself in the mirror to take it off. Can I do it? No. Okay, no clowns. Can I make you into a clown? No, she isn't. I guess I better start talking. Well, I guess I should start with my name. Most of you probably know who I am. I've been on this how many videos now? This is video number four if you don't include the vlogs. My name is Sophie. Uh, I'm 27. I know I'm old. This is awful. You might just have to use more of it then. No, I mean, this is awful. Oh, use makeup brushes. I'm buying you more anyway for your Christmas. I'll be right back. <laughs> My hair's starting to look like it's going to go super saiyan. Are you ready? I am ready. Um, and you were at the point where oh, you're yeah. 27. Oh yeah, I'm 27. Um, me and Brian have been friends for five years now? Well, Coming up five, five years, years now. Yeah. I can tell you a few stories if you want to know them. Um, Start from your childhood. Oh jeez, my childhood was pretty good actually, I can't really even say, I'd love to tell you that like, you know, it was rubbish, but I, I grew up in a dumpster. Yeah, <laughs> I lived in a dumpster and I had to eat rat guts, but no. I have three sisters and two brothers, I've only got one little sister and then all the rest are older than me. I've, I've, there's only one of them I've not met. Why have you met them all like that? The wrong one, she wasn't there? Yeah, I was going to say, I've not met. Well, you know. I have a son. He's amazing. Yeah, he's awesome. I guess what I should tell you is I'm the weirdest person you'll ever meet. That's an understatement. Well, yeah. The thing is, I have this tendency to just do things that I'm not supposed to. Oh, it's gone in here. Oh, well. Um, to do things that I think are funny at the time. Um, they're not, by the way. They're stupid. One of the things I guess I should tell you is when it, me and Brian used to go out drinking <laughs> a lot, a lot and um, I'd be the one getting him in trouble so it'd be I'm only having a beer Sophie and then it'd be shots and I'd end up like buying what 100? Yeah. 100 shots? Usual night out yeah it's literally it... the first drink we have to have when I get to the bar this paint is awful it wasn't bloody cheap I'm not, oh, it acts like it's cheap. It's like a cheap hooker. I once broke both my arms snowboarding at a friend. Do you know how you go on like, when you've got friends, you go on a big birthday do where you get a group of you? Mm. Well, I was 11. It was just before my SATs, if you remember what SATs were. Jesus. It's the exams that are like, at private school. Before, we went to like the snowboarding place, the other ones that aren't actually snow, it's like carpet, like wet carpet. And I broke both my arms and I was crying obviously because of my big beard. 
And then what had happened is I decided I was still hungry even though I were in pain. So I ate my cheeseburger while I was still there. I think I got home and my mum is a nurse and she thought I'd broke one of my wrists because it was swollen. Found out I'd fractured both my wrists. Thankfully it wasn't my elbows or I wouldn't be able to do anything and all that, but it was a nightmare. You're closing your eyes, it's your own fault, but trust me. By the way, that's one of the many, 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 many clumsy stories that Sophie has. I'm not clumsy, I'm just out of balance. You are very clumsy. I'm clumsy and forgetful. <laughs> if I'm not like falling down my stairs, I am forgetting to lock my door. <laughs> or turn my radiators on, or... Buy food. Buy food. <laughs> but then, saying that, this is another thing you need to know. I can eat. Oh uh, yeah, true. No, when I can say I eat, I don't mean I can eat 12 salads either. I mean, I spent so much money in one night. Salad? I don't even know how to. I once went to the bar, so I've been paid, and I was like, do you want something to eat? And they're like, yeah, yeah, we want a pizza and a kebab. So that's the boys and I was like, I'm in the mood for Chinese. Now Chinese is one of my favourite, you know, foods ever. So I ordered like 30 quid. No. Yeah, you ordered a around. full half duck for yourself. I ordered half a duck, I ordered, what else did I? I ordered these, uh, what were they called, hot and spicy? Uh, chicken wings, mm. I ordered all that, I ordered like sides, I ordered everything and I ate the lot. Yeah, you bloody right. And then I ate some of Brain's pizza, uh, no, your kebab and Tom's pizza as well. Are you ready? See you. Ah, get, get off my... <laughs> Sorry. I collect dragons. Like, a lot of dragons. And when I say I collect dragons, I mean I've got like a load of, uh, what are they called? Statues? Figurines. Figurines, that makes me sound like I'm one of them Trekkie people that has like the little, they're actually really, really um, expensive. Well, you bought me ones, didn't you? Yeah. Well, uh, we got through that in our last video. Yeah. We spoke about like how many dragons I bought, but we didn't go into where your obsession with dragons began. Skyrim! Skyrim, I'm a really big gamer, right? And even you've got to admit, I am mm. a big gamer. And I I think I was training you into a bear door. Fair enough. I spent about eight hours a day, non-stop, playing Skyrim, right? Mm. One day I first saw that dragon, I think I was still in love. So I collected dragons. I've even got a tattoo of a dragon and a unicorn on my leg. Put it Put it right here where Brain's face is, please, oh, Brain. Lovely. Right here. Lovely. Ever since then, I've just been like obsessed. Like, it's stupid, isn't it? How obsessed. Mm. I've not got steady hands. I've got something called dyspraxia, which is like hand and eye coordination, which means no steady hands. No steady anything. No, I mean, like, I can't ride a bike because balance and doing two things at once is just not my. Mm. Think? Is that the word? Think? Yeah. Um, I would go into detail, but it'd take the whole, um, whole video to uh, do that. But it just means that I can't do certain things very well and I have to like take my time. Which I'm not going to do in this video, I'm going to make it look as worse as I can. <laughs> I love my parents very, very, very much. But I'm a stubborn child. And when I say I'm just a stubborn child, I'm not, it's not just, it's not about being just a stubborn child, it's about, I'm a stubborn person. I'm the kind of person that if you said, right, this big red button here, <laughs> it's going to end the world. You'd just be like, ooh, button. Not just that, because you told me not to press it, I am going to. See, I'm that person who, I'd stand there for a couple of seconds, you know, before. Oh, no, no, no. I'd be like... Uh, I've been told not to press it, I've been told not to press it. Big button! Yeah, yours is distraction. Mine is, you told me to do something, I'm going to do the opposite. Me and my mum never, when I was younger, me and my mum used to be 
not so close because I was daddy's little girl. He was like my, I used to call him Aladdin and I used to say I was Jasmine because he was my first prince and you know, that sad old story. <laughs> As I got older, like my mum has been the go-to person to talk to and I avoid my dad. Not because I don't love him, but more like, he's my dad. I won't talk to my dad about boys. No way, <laughs> no way. It's kind of a weird situation. Oh, another, I'm not very artistic. <laughs> Not artistic in the drawing sense? No, but I do do poetry and writing and, and um, anything to do with writing and reading. And I write a lot of um, novels. Mm. Writing's like my outlet. I have like depression. Not many people know this as I keep it to myself. But I do, I have depression, you know this. Mm. Uh, it was a, it's a big part of my life, but I'm, I'm one of these people who don't talk about it. Mm. Very stubborn in that matter of fact. But because of that, I write a lot and I write about people with depression and, you know, the usual outlet. And sometimes I write some horrible, <laughs> some very dark, what they call gothic mm. stories. So with my depression, I don't know how to talk about it. So I do it through my writing and I don't think it's very good. No, it is like a lot of it's really good. It's time. So guys, what we'll do here is we kind of want to leave the big end in a mystery. So we're going to jump from this point to the completed job. And there we go. That's actually a fair decent job, lot. Apart from the eyes, where, like... I know, I, I, I like it. But well, look, all your purple is on top of it, and all greens come through. Look. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this, this shit uh, gets on everything. But I just wanted to say, I, I know this was, um, wasn't one of the more, what's it called, uh, complicated videos and it was just us mm. but thank you for sticking around and getting to know me yeah. uh, please put in um put in the comments what you'd like to know about me and maybe i'll respond to a few of them and we might even do a future q a live yeah we could do it let us know if you guys want that like maybe from a hundred video or whatever we can do a live we can do a live video we'll have me you and tom yeah me and Tom are fun together. <laughs> um, but I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it's not really been Brian this time. It's been me, so can I end it? Yeah, on you go. This has been Sophie and Mr. Brian, the scary lion. Uh, don't do that with that face. <laughs> um, thank you for coming around. If you enjoyed it, please press the subscribe button and make sure that you get the uh, notifications you press that bell and um, please press the like if you enjoyed it and uh, we will see you again later goodbye peace